Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Adorkable Rachel and it's time for another episode of Rachel Reacts! So a brand new trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp came out yesterday. Um, I'm excited to react to it because, I mean, we just had to go through Avengers Infinity War. That was intense. Uh, I'm ready to see a trailer for the next one that's coming out. Um, but it also made me realize I'm surprised they didn't show this before Avengers Infinity War. Like, it just came out. Why didn't we have this trailer before that movie? I don't know. Whatever. I really enjoyed the first one a lot. Um, I'm not super familiar with Ant-Man from the comics or anything like that, but I have always been super impressed with MCU taking something really silly, like Ant-Man, a guy that shrinks down to the size of an ant and fights crime, but makes it work on film somehow. And it's definitely not up there in like the best MCU films, but it's still a good movie and it's a lot of fun and it's really creative. And also Paul Rudd was like perfect casting for this character. And to avoid too many spoilers, I don't know too much about the movie coming out either, but I am excited that I think this is the first time that a female character is in the title of the film. So that's really awesome. And also to my knowledge, there's a character called Ghost, which I guess is kind of an antagonist character, that is usually portrayed as a man, but in this one is being portrayed as a woman, so that's also kind of cool. And before we get started, this episode is brought to you by Stardust, the free app that allows you to share reactions to movies, TV shows, and trailers. Alright, so let's watch the new trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp. So, how long have you been Ant-Man again? Aww. Not long. It just sort of happened. <laughs> I wish I could fight bad guys like you. <laughs> and I seem to mess it up almost every time. <laughs> Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Hi. Like a partner. Dr. Pim, I actually heard what happened to you. You opened up the quantum realm. That's when this crazy could be ghost who like walks through walls and stuff. Stole your tech. Oh, cool. That's what you call the world or whatever. Who would have believed that in your hour of need, you would turn to us? Not me. Because I mean, we robbed you. Do you remember? That's us. <laughs> the only chance we've got is both of you. Ant Man and the Wasp teaming up. Follow my lead. She seems more intense. What? What? No, no. Was that an ant playing the drums? You go low, I'll go high. I have wings. Why would I go low? What I miss? We were just tiny. Ah, oh, that looks so I much fun. I was with Hank on a project called Goliath. How big did you get? By record, twenty-one feet. You? Sixty-five feet. Sixty-five. If you two are finished comparing sizes, sixty-five. <laughs> I get it. So, kind of typical for these movies, we've got the two heroes kind of competing with each other, we've got a good dose of comedy, and also some creative action. Um, I get the salt shaker stopping that person. Sounds kind of silly on paper, but they made it look really awesome and badass. That was so cool. And ha ha ha, men comparing sizes at the end. Yeah. Pretty funny. Also, Lawrence Fishburne is in this. Um, does anyone remember that he is actually in the DC Universe films? And now he's suddenly in the Marvel Cinematic Universe films? How did he sneak that one in? Good for you, dude. You're making the transition. I'm proud of you. <laughs> and again, I don't know too much about Ghost, but um, first of all, she looks cool. I would have loved to have found out more about her in this trailer, but I like that you have these characters that can shrink down and also grow in size, which is, you know, kind of hard to beat. But one thing that is hard to beat is a character that can walk through walls or anything else, probably. I mean, that's, that's, um, 
Yeah, <laughs> that's a good villain for those kind of heroes. Also, to my knowledge, I guess this takes place after Civil War, so this is not after Infinity War, which does not um, surprise me too much because, you know, sometimes the films are a little not in chronological order. So um, I kind of hope that maybe possibly this will end with the signs of Infinity War happening, like maybe a character will start... Um, you know, doing what the characters do at the end of that movie. Um, not gonna say exactly why in case you haven't seen it. Um, I don't know, that's kind of a hope I have for this, just a kind of little selfish hope. I would love it if this had um, some signs of Infinity War at least starting or in the process of happening. Yeah, I mean, looks like another fun MCU film. Um, nothing like really spectacular blew me away or anything like that, but it still looks like a really fun movie. I'm a little disappointed though that this is the 20th MCU movie. Um, that should have probably been Captain Marvel, um, but whatever. It looks like a really fun movie. So there you go, there's my reaction to the newest Ant-Man and Wasp trailer, and now here are some Stardust users and their thoughts on the film. Now this trailer really doesn't, I'm hoping, doesn't give away a lot of the comedy, because that's always the problem with trailers, right? They tell you all the funny stuff already. So. Uh, and I like that they're gonna continue playing with the size. I think that's that was one of the better, cooler elements of the original movie, so I'm glad to see it back. I like they're gonna keep doing more with it. The effects are on point, the music choice was perfect, the villain looks menacing, she's gonna be tough to beat. I am so glad we're having Ant-Man back in just a few months. This, this looks like it's gonna be awesome. And the thing is, they were able to show us action without being too over comedic. And if you're not already familiar with Stardust, it's a free app you can download that lets you react to movies, TV shows, and trailers under 30 seconds. And it's the easiest and fastest way to share your video reaction online. I use it every day to react to all kinds of movies and shows, both new and old. And whenever I see a new film, I always share my thoughts on this app first. So if you want to see those videos or post your own reactions or see other reactors, then be sure to click the link in the description down below. And also be sure to follow me, Adorkable Rachel. Also, if you want a chance to appear in the next compilation, then be sure to follow me on Twitter when I announce when the next opportunity will be so you can tag me in one of your next reactions. So now I want to know, what did you guys think of the trailer? Are you excited for a new Ant-Man movie? Do you like that they change Ghost to a woman? Or is there anything in there that you're not really excited about? Are there any little Easter eggs in there that I completely missed? Also let me know, are there any movies or TV shows or trailers coming out soon that you want me to do a reaction of here on this channel? Well go ahead and leave your comments below, be sure to like and share, and if you're new and like what you saw here then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also be sure to hit the little bell button down there to get notified when new stuff comes out because I make new videos every week! Bye, Adorka Buddies! I'll see you soon! Mm -hmm.